Did Alec Murdoch once confess to killing his own wife and his youngest son, his longtime friend, former client, distant relative? You probably know him, Curtis Cousin Eddie Smith. Now says yes. You probably remember back in September 2021, Murdoch called 911 to say he was shot in the head in a drive-by shooting. Murdoch claimed at the time that he wanted Smith to kill him so his living son, Buster, could collect a $10 million life insurance payout. Smith was arrested and charged with several crimes, and he was granted bail back in April. And now he's speaking out about the alleged shooting, saying the plot was never about insurance money. Here's what he told Netflix for season two of the docuseries, Murdoch Murders, A Southern Scandal. You were asked, asked, why do you want me to shoot you? Because they're going to be able to prove it. I was responsible for Maggie and Paul. I'm joined now by Curtis Smith's attorney, Amy Zimmercheck. Amy, thank you so much for joining us. This is a lot for our viewers to break down. So I want you to walk us through when the story changed, why the story changed, and also, you know, for someone like me, I'm a little bit skeptical when storylines change. So um, thank you for having me. Um, it, it's interesting because to me, the storyline never really changed. Um, it's just the first time that um, the full storyline has been asked about and 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 put you know into the public eye, which I think is refreshing for some people because everybody did want to hear from Eddie, um, and so uh, there was just you know that one little statement about he said um they're going to be able to prove that i did it um that that was withheld um from his original statement but but his the statement that he gave on netflix has been his statement for quite some time it's just not been uh put out in the public uh, because nobody really asked. He was never called to the witness stand. Had he well, been called to the witness I, stand, that's I do, what he would have testified to. Well, Amy, I, I do want to push back a little bit. I, I do want to be respectful. But at the si same time, this is not this is not what was said in open court. Um, in open, well, he hasn't been to court yet. Um, so I don't know what's been said. Um, but since I've been, I can tell you, since no, I've been on no. the case, yeah, go ahead. But yeah, but well, I was gonna say since I've been on the case, that's been that's been the uh, information um, that I got. I know that that way early on when he first got um, involved uh, and was arrested and did some media, he did leave out some inform. He did leave out that information. Um, and quite honestly, I wasn't involved back then, so so I don't know. Um, but ever since I've met and and been his attorney, this has been his stance. He was prepared to to testify to the exact same thing had he been called um, during trial, which he he wasn't. Um, and I know people are skeptical, okay. um, you know, of, of a story changing. So, so, but go ahead. well, and and I think I mean rightfully so. First of all, the story it is it is confusing. So if you could break down your client's role with obviously Alec Murdoch, who has been convicted of murder. So from from your standpoint, as as his representation, how does the story stand right now? It, it stands exactly as he said at, uh, on, on the Netflix interview that he um, was called out to help Alec, which is something that he frequently did. I mean, he was frequently going, digging ditches, doing things, you know, when, when called. Um, because that's just what he did. He really, he really did help everyone. Um, then when he gets out there and um, they meet and, and Eddie's still trying to figure out what's going on. And then when they get to the actual scene and he asks Eddie to do this and Eddie's absolutely not. And, and if you think about the logistics of it, if he were going to try to shoot him, I mean, he couldn't have missed. He was very, very close. Um, I think that there was a lot of confusion uh, in the beginning about who said and who did what, um, but Eddie never, ever intended to to hurt anybody. And quite honestly, okay. if, 
as his representative, and what I truly believe is that he was going to potentially be killed out the side of the road and then blamed as the patsy. I think that that had the plan come to fruition right. as Alec had it. I, I really do think that's what would have happened. Well, I mean, would he be interested in coming on News Nation? Because, I mean, th just like Netflix, we can give him a great platform. And I think you should talk to your client about that. I only have about 10 seconds. I, I want you to answer my question in 10 seconds or less. Um, what does he believe? Uh, does he believe that Alec Murdoch was involved in the murders? Oh, absolutely. He does. And he is fearful of him. Okay. Well, Amy, like I said, tell your client that there's an open invitation. Thank you for joining us tonight. We hope that we Thank have you. on News Thank Nation tomorrow me. night. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.